Hello everyone. Exercise 1.3, class 9, question number 11. Insert two irrational numbers between 2 and 3. As we already know, the irrational numbers are the one which are basically in the form of under root p, where p is a not a perfect square. When I am talking about 2, so 2 can also be written as under root of 4. As 4 is a perfect square, so this is a rational number. When I talk about 3, so this is under root of 9. Because 9 is also a perfect square, that is why 3 is a rational number. So between 4 and 9, all the numbers like under root 5, under root 6, under root 7, under root 8. Definitely all these numbers are between 2 and 3. And because they are not the perfect squares, so they are irrational numbers. So out of these four, I can write any two irrational numbers between 2 and 3. Next question number 12 is, write two irrational numbers between 4 by 9 and 7 by 11. Same way, we understand that 4 upon 9 can also be written as under root of 16 upon 81. While 7 upon 11 can also be written as under root of 49 upon 121. As 16 and 81 are perfect squares, so when we take the under roots, this becomes a rational number. Same way, 49 and 121 are perfect squares, when we take the under root, this also becomes the rational number. But if we look at the irrational number between these numbers, so it is quite easy because if the denominator is more then the number will be less. If the denominator is less, then the number will be more. Now first of all we have to understand that 4 upon 9 is approximately 0.44. And this is with a bar. While 7 upon 11 is approximately 0.6 something. But it must be having a bar because this is a non-terminating repeating decimal. Now, we understand that from 0.4 to 0.6, all the numbers in between, which are not the perfect squares, are known as irrational numbers. So, when we have to increase the value, so the denominator should be decreased. So, under root 16 upon 80 or under root 16 upon 79. All these numbers will be definitely greater than 4 upon 9 or 0.44. And this will go up to various infinity place. Same is the case if in case we understand that 7 upon 11 is approximately 0.66. We need the numbers which are less than this. Now less than this means the denominator should be more. So under root of 49 upon 122. Under root of 49 upon 123. All these numbers will be treated as irrational numbers which are less than 0.6 definitely they are going towards 0.4 so this way we can put more than two irrational numbers in between question number 13 is find a rational number between root 2 and root 3 now when i am talking about a rational number either this is a terminating decimal or this is a non-terminating repeating decimal which is in fractions in the form of p upon q where q should not be equal to 0 and p and q should not have any common vector except 1. So that is the meaning of rational number. Here we understand the value of root 2 is 1.414 and so on while the value of root 3 is 1.732 and so on. Because these are irrational numbers so this will go up to infinity and they are also not repeating decimal. When we talk about any number in between, so 1.417, 1.418, which is greater than this, or 1.716, 1.717, which is less than this, are definitely number between the two, and all these numbers are known as rational number. Now, an important thing is to the Number 1.417, we cannot write it like this, it is 1417 upon 1000. This is 1418 upon 1000. And we have to keep one thing in mind that there can be infinite number of rational numbers and infinite number of irrational numbers between two rational or two irrational numbers. Thank you. In the next class we will talk about question number 14 onwards.